Hello, everyone. Uh, I wanted to um, talk a little bit about the absolutely shocking news that the Free Speech Union, the only uh, organization devoted to free speech in the UK, has just been demonetized by PayPal. This is Silicon Valley imposing its values on the rest of the world. Um, now, I, I want to just say a few words about someone who uh, <laughs> someone who is not is not the most liked man. His name is Toby Young, and I certainly didn't like him at one stage. In fact, I spent a lot of my time on Twitter dunking on him over and over again because um, he made fun of he he uh, criticized the IT crowd, and uh, no one is allowed to criticize my shows but me. Um, so I kind of uh, I kind of had at him uh, for for a number of years, and also. Uh, Something I didn't notice, which I notice now because I see it in the opposition, the people who I'm fighting at the moment, is that, um, well, you know, he kind of, he kind of, you know, it, it basically, I always thought that Toby was basically evil. <laughs> Let me put this microphone on. It's going to sound better. Sorry. Because I was an idiot, because I was one of these kind of Twitter idiots who are now, like Philip Pullman, who are now excusing, uh, you know, thugs beating up women on Sunday, or would beat up women on Sunday. Um, uh, you know, I was one of those idiots like him, uh, like Neil Gaiman, um, you know, just believing the, the worst of, uh, of conservatives, right? So Toby Young was one of these people. One thing I, I used to do was call him London's village idiot. I'm sorry, Toby, I did used to do that. And and I and I also once did a terrible thing where I got a Google search results and I searched, <laughs> this is terrible, I searched uh, Toby Young on it and then I took a screen grab of it, but then I changed the search term so it read London's village idiot. <laughs> it was all pictures of Toby. And I'll tell you what, at the time I sent it to him and he replied, that's quite funny. And I should have known then that he was an all right bloke because he is an all right bloke. And the reason that um, I uh, he's been cancelled and um, treated so mercilessly is because uh, people looked at what he was doing, uh, you know, some of the things he was looking into and called it eugenics and all this sort of stuff and completely crucified him, completely crucified him. Now, here's the thing. I haven't looked into what he was looking into. Um, uh, I don't know anything about it. I don't really have the time because I'm concentrating on this issue. Uh, but I will say this. The same people who called Toby Young, Young a eugenist called people like J.K. Rowling a bigot. And the important thing that you have to realize is they're lying to you. They're lying to you, you know. Um, this is purely uh, people who have a kind of a cultural, they have all the cultural power. And as we know, power corrupts. And basically what we have is we have uh, activists in every organization, including, you know, from PayPal to Twitter, to Wikipedia, to Hattrick, you know, to Sonia Friedman Productions, to the Pleasance Theater, who got rid of Jerry Sadowitz. Um, these activists are working in every uh, organization at the moment. And, um, the, the thing they hate mo more than anything else are people who stand up for women, right? The big enemy at the moment. That's, that's one disagreement I do have with the Free Speech Union. They don't realize that trans activism is the biggest threat to free speech at the moment. It's not a generalized fight against free speech. Uh, it's, it's trans rights activists in particular uh, attacking free speech because free speech is the speech they don't want. They don't want people to say they're not women. They don't want people to say this or that. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? So basically, I think, the free spe I think the free speech union needs to fight this particular war first before they can move on to the more generalized free speech uh, questions. Because this is the imminent danger. And I guarantee you, it's because of um, their uh, activities on behalf of women that has led to PayPal demonetizing them because the sacred class is um, uh, in, in, in controls of, of tech at the moment. You know, it's why there's so many, uh, it's why transactivism took such a hold in Ireland because Ireland has become a, a tech hub. Um, 
so anyway, that's that's all I want to say. Toby Young, uh, yes, annoying, I'm sure. I certainly didn't like his manner sometimes, but I've met him personally, and he's a lovely man, and he's fighting for all of our freedom of speech, whatever side you're on. And I really think it's shocking that PayPal has done this. And I think that everyone, whatever side of the aisle you're on, you've got to fight uh, for this organization. And you've got to say that PayPal will not control freedom of speech and no Silicon Valley company will control freedom of speech in the UK. Uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Um, I hope to see you soon.